all right guys let's jump on to ethereum real quick right here as we have the similar situation here in ethereum as well we are just simply breaking above the following pizza right here basically falling wedge you're rejecting anything below the uh, basically the three day time frame guys i was talking about ethereum holding on to this level and we are kind of holding this one if you close this three day candle which is happening in the next eight hours and 30 minutes yes ethereum is going to be having a good bias as this has been your major trend control line guys the fucking 21 simple moving average is going to work on most of the time frames even the small time frame if you're intraday trading on hourly and even in 10 minutes guys 21 simple will always help you decide the direction guys so for the time being you did reject a significant significant amount of price action especially happening in the weekend below the 21 symbol on the three day time frames so this is your bear trap right here guys this is what a classic bear trap is happening in the weekend so all the retail traders try to trade this asset in the weekend guys even i did try to trade this one right here and i did not come out profitable in that trade mm, i was trying to scalp i was trying to scalp i was looking for a breakdown of um, uh, 13.5 but my target was quite low around 12 20 but that did not that never happened and it just it simply went away and just well yeah i got stopped out with some some minor loss right here but yeah the the current structure right here the three time frame which is going to be closing in eight hours 30 minutes is, this is good this is good looking you reject anything below this one how much is that how much is that you rejected uh eight percent below the 21 simple certainly a good sign and now why is this green box standing right here but guys because this is going to be your target this is going to be if you close this three-day candle like this most likely theorem will come here for another sell-off guys now the problem being why 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 do why am i calling out for sell-offs in bitcoin as well from the uh, macro regions is because of these bastards guys i mean these candles right here barely engulfing on most assets across cryptocurrency i mean not looking good for the immediate uh, immediate short time frame as this tells that market is not yet decided which direction to pick up in the macro right so it was like a halt it's, it's it's just like a halt it's just like a break go catch some air just just have some fun with family or maybe play with your kids but yeah there is certainly not going to be any fomo for ethereum in the coming weeks weeks guys weeks but 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 if this weekly turns out to be extremely bullish and if we do close this weekly somewhere or guys even if we wake above this point right here at 2050 i think ethereum is up for another continuation uh, continuation drive to 3k guys the 3k target absolutely got fucking shattered i mean as soon as we started losing 1800 dollar levels the 3k target was just completely out of the picture at least in the interim time frame but right now you just simply confirmed it by closing this candle like this one right here this, this is a big bearish fuck off candle right here i mean not looking good on the weekly time frame but yeah you can certainly come up here you can test these levels but ultimately you'll be rejected that's the first and foremost opinion i mean certainly you can close you can certainly wake above 20,000 uh, sorry 2050 dollar levels but yes you uh, on the first pass most likely will be it's going to be a sell off guys so why is this green box a completely relevant zone right here for a possible rejection because it's be it's between the golden pocket it's between the 618 and the 86 deep retracement 86 the deep retracement being at 1950 guys 1950 another crucial level if you close any weekly above it you're certainly trending to the upside like immediately trending to the upside but i think that on the first pass we come to 618 at 1750 we will probably get rejected guys now that's another far-fetched opinion because on the extreme small time frames let's kind of jump on the 12 hour time frame so the 12 hour time frame right here is is yet to gain the 21 simple moving average now guys the 12 hour the 12 hour candle on btc is certainly really close to the price action but this one is a little shy of it as but 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 i i i, I do think this is a good confirmation move i think uh, this bullish engulf candle right above this point right here breaking this structure to the upside is a good sign is, is a potential good sign for the coming well the coming few trading hours i guess or coming few 12 hour candles as well you could you could certainly challenge this uh, area right here at 1580 if you close 12 hour candles above it then you're targeting uh, 1670 and ultimately 1756 which is going to be the first one of the golden pocket at 618 guys watch for rejection coming uh, coming at 618 i do think the first pass is going to be a massive sell off rejection we could we could simply uh, we could simply do something like this as well uh, we could we could do something like this as well and guys we can do something like this as well all right no, nobody knows what's going to happen uh, but as the data suggests that bitcoin miners have finally start they've stopped selling guys uh, i'm i'm going to be coming up with some um, 
good good analysis on the miners data like most of the people in the crypto space were freaking out because of miners uh, bringing about a lot of btcs into exchange like gemini and uh, well f2 pool for that concern but uh, the, what the data says and the data suggests that we have stopped selling off the miners have stopped selling their btc now they are getting more towards accumulation which means that we kind of found an interim bottom in the cryptocurrency space altogether guys you can simply argue that btc uh, btc has already bottomed out around 43000 levels and we can be simply headed we could be simply headed to the upside but if you if you if you reject 43000 again to the downside you're probably going to be rejecting this level right here on ethereum as well and then you will target moves to guys $1000 ethereum guys no, no matter however it sounds like you you would want to call me a perma bear you would want to give me big bearish red fuck off candles right on my face but i think if you lose this one right here there's not much stopping until thousand dollars ethereum that would be devastating but as far as you're holding this three day structure right here that's the most important thing you're probably headed towards this these points right here uh for the short time frame i think this is a pretty trade pretty pretty tradable event right here guys if you have missed out on uh, shorting this one right here you could you could maybe try longing this one right here and uh, you could target move somewhere around this on ethereum um but 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 the first confirmation is going to be this 12 hour closure above the 1550 range guys 1550 pretty important 1550 you close above it uh, 12 hour 4 hour you try to make your way towards those path um, those areas at the deep uh, deep retrace points right the 4 hour candle certainly suggesting of the fact that the trend is broken to the upside guys this downtrend is over it's no more there bears are supposed to fucking hibernate right now bulls are supposed to take the charge back in to the game guys and if we are taking this level at 4 hour um, for our closure as well as 50, at 1550 you could target a move at uh, 1680 as well but i do not think that the vehicle is going to stop there i think we will simply head towards these points the first and the foremost test being 1750 and the second test being 1950 guys that's a 25% move to the upside try to capitalize on that your invalidation is going to be below this point right here if you if you start closing uh, for our candles below 1470 then there is just there's just another dumpster then ethereum is a simple dumpster fire get the fuck out of its head <laughs> no i'm just kidding if you're holding it for a very long time just just hold it probably it's going to go to 20000 10000 in the coming years and the days don't get shaken out don't get disheartened because of this stupid little dump right here came about 35% but bull market corrections are supposed to be like that guys just 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 face it if 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 you felt that this this is something that you cannot take you should probably consider quitting this is going to save you a lot of time and a lot of effort i'm just going to be simple plain blank honest with you guys just these are these things are supposed to happen in cryptocurrencies over reaction to the upside over reaction to the downside that's the name of the game guys and and it's better if you familiarize yourself with that pretty soon because if you do not you're probably going to have a hard time in the coming days guys i think i think that's pretty much it for the ethereum update the next video coming up is going to be for bnb as we do have some interesting play outs which are turning into reality ethereum ethereum's dominance getting down and bnb kind of sucking it up well let's find out in the next video bye for now